I asked Nate to print me some cool stuff out for this, so if you want to see, stay tuned. <laughs> We had a little conversation the other night and I said I want something a little MP5 looking to cover up the uh, gas tank because obviously we deleted the uh, the pressure gauge because I broke it being ham fisted as usual um, so I got Nate to come up with some nice shrouds would you say or cover ups or whatever Four grip. but yeah so I just I just wanted something because when you're shooting this, it feels a little bit slim in the hand, so you want something with a little bit of grip on it. So I got them to come up with this. Um, you said you took this from, was this an AR design or something that you but, shrunk down? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's 90% my design. I basically took the pattern off a half of a previous design. Yeah. I added on a picky rail on the end. Yeah. And the I designed cap. it. The whole shape of it and everything, I pretty much designed it myself. Yeah. So, so you got a nice little design with your, your reliefs and stuff in there, but yeah, that's that's a nice little thing. Um, it come out a little short, so we made this little. Yeah, I don't know why I ring. measured it up. I, mean, I sort of measured it up to the. Um, to the. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd look alright. But I just this didn't. actually, you'll see in a minute, covers one of the most eye-catching things on this gun, which I don't really like, is the polished. Uh, steel, what do you call that? Your your valve where all the um, O rings sit. Yeah, that's what we done for your, on that. Yeah, yeah, that's what we replaced. But the whole gun's black, and I just don't like these little shiny bits on it. So this actual extra little ring piece covers that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how this bottom grip looks on it. I just couldn't give you in parts without ring no. piece, mate. So I know you have to give me a ring piece every now and again. So what we're gonna do, drop, drop the torch, <laughs> and uh, so this is what the initial thing was that I wanted designed, just something, and Nate yeah. come up with the torch attachment at the bottom to say if I wanted any accessories on it. And I was right chuffed at that come out, and I yeah. just thought, I don't know, there's something missing, and I did first come up with this shroud, I'll, I'll yeah. pass it to you, Daz, yeah. that, that, and that was a bit too small, but that did still clip on, and I thought the contrasting colours might look cool. That look a bit better on camera than it does in real life. Yeah, my missus saw it, she said, whatever's that. This actually, look in you know. person, that looks mustard yellow. It's pretty much like Dijon mustard, that's the colour that it is. It that is a military light green colour, that's yeah. what they say anyway. But that was meant to be like a sand type colour, wasn't it? Yeah. And that, that yeah. just didn't go, so he came up. And redone it in the same green as this, and I think and it looks the pretty well. The slot in it was perfect as well, yep. so that covered the whole barrel. And once that's on, you won't really want to be taking it off because that's a tight fit. I think you should have put that on, on first and then put the other bit on. This tight, this is a tight fit. You have to put your foot on it just to get that thing, but it's good, really. You don't want it falling off. Yeah, and if you've got a stock on it, don't pull on it by that. Use the handle because you'll stretch your, your bolt patterns in the plastic. Also, that Rip. cover covers up your inlet portholes. Keep that nice and clean. If you've got a gauge on the end, what we the, do. the cap would protect it. It's got a little. I'll show you. It's got a little slit on it. That's not a solid. That's not a solid uh, piece. So you've got a little bit of flexibility with a 3D printed material. That's because I didn't want to push the barrel and the tank so, apart. I didn't yeah. want to, like, you know. You don't want to mess up with the accuracy of the no. thing, so that's on. We'll slide that bit on, and then this bit. There you go, man. And you've got to pull up pretty hard to release it. So that's on there, nice and snug. Um, Does that look the business or what? But feels that. the business too. Kind that fits nice with the, that green of the handle anyway. Put the um, silencer on there. Yeah, that's what I was now going to get into. There, mate, that looks so um, much but if you're thinking if that, you know, you might be worried to slide off, the reason we aren't worried about it is because it's got this end cap on there. And when you put a silencer on it, because I've got the silencer mod, 
that actually locks all this down. So I'm just going to grab your silencer off this, which is your 3D printed silencer adapter. For the PPQ, which are in yeah. one on the market. Nope. So if you watch the previous video of this one, that's that. What I'm going to do slide this on. Say, now, is. as you can see, I'll get a little close up on there. That the bottom of the silencer is actually nipping everything in, and that is solid. That feels lovely in the hand. And I don't know what would that be the better camera angle. I still got the stock on, but I don't know if it's better this on this one. Or yeah, actually, yeah, it's better on this one, mate. Um, up, yeah. But yeah, but now that looks badass, and I can guarantee. That no one in the world has got an SNK PP700W like mine. I agree, Dyson. If anyone want one of these without the split ring and with a hole in the front to see your gauge, yeah. send us a message. I've got an Etsy account. I don't know. We'll see. This this is our latest addition to the highly customizable SMK PP700W in 22 caliber, but you can also get them in 177. Um, I just got the 2-2 because two -two hey, I like bigger bullets. Anyway, guys, we forgot something about the yeah. um, silencer test on yeah. that. How much power will it distract? So we're now going to do a little silencer test and see how it goes with and without. The crony's all set up, ready to go. So what I'll do, I'll do it without first, I think, and then I'll put it on. 4.64. That's not yeah, bad. That's good, mate. It's five yeah. and a half full power, isn't it, normally? Uh, you accuse me of yeah. bloody sneaking gills on it when you're not here, mate. Oh. What was that? 4.64 foot power. Yeah. So, that was about a silencer. Depends how many pigeons you hit with it. Does a silencer it? kill your power? And that's the same silencer I've done on the previous yeah. And that's the same the silencer pigeon. I own, which is actually going to be run on this gun as well. So, so, let's see what the silencer does. It's actually increased it. Wow, that's mad, isn't it? So, that's 4.8. That's like that's extended the barrel. Yeah. No, range. Yeah. Just a bit closer. Might have to give you old crony a clean. Well, fuck you, there's nothing wrong with the crony. You're <laughs> shooting, mate. Yeah, I don't think you're shooting my crony up, mate. Really? I only put two in the same hole, mate. Put two on a quid, no? Yeah, 460. See, so there's not much because what? Nothing. Uh, that's, that, that could be the variance in power. Yeah, you could average the out yeah, and the yeah, means yeah. didn't give you exactly so that, the same. What we're saying is no power loss. No power loss, but a hell of a lot quieter. And this thing looks badass now. It's still quiet as well. Imagine just, you could even, even if you got it and you didn't like the colour, you could just wrap it in camo. Spray it. Spray it. That's like 3D printed Tape wrapper. material is very versatile on what you can do with finishes as well. Shall Playing we, with um, it. Torch holder, mate. Oh no, we didn't because I dropped it on the floor like an idiot. Yeah. No, this is someone else's design. Um, but the printer dirt in the hole weren't quite small enough that would only grip it. Right and you the printed back. one that was a little bit thin as well, wasn't it? And yeah, that didn't. Previous one busted, so I'm going to reprint that again. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I think I'd look better in a different colour than black. So I'm right. sure I was one of the lug in the gun days. So. Then I'll perhaps zoom in on it. Yeah, I mean, that look alright, mate. Let's, uh, yeah. I'll zoom in on that. And, uh... So, yeah. So that's right. it's that's the first accessory. That'll, that'll fit a 20mm pick and tinny rail. But yeah. Cracks on. Yeah. And, like, it's, it's still lightweight. Like, that, that adds a little bit of weight to it, but the, the point of balance is always slightly to the rear anyway, so that shooting has not changed a single thing with this gun it still hits bang on yeah, and uh, I love that yeah. we tried it and hold it and that and um, so well glad you liked this yeah mate um, that's, uh, so thanks for watching yeah so thanks for watching like comment subscribe share I don't know if anyone shares videos anymore but know, do it and uh, yeah stay tuned <laughs>